What's up everybody and welcome back to some more Star Wars The Old Republic. Today we are continuing on with uh, catching up to the 7.5 update. We've got this quest here, Hidden Signals. It's me and Shay Vizsla. We just uh, kind of landed here. We did a little bit of uh, a droid probe investigations and now we're uh, we're here. So we've got a few things to do. We're going to go speak to Ras Ordo, then uh, Akavi. And then I guess from there, we'll scan for the base of operations uh, as our main objective. As always, if you guys end up enjoying this, leaving a like on the YouTube video makes a huge difference. If we hit that like 20, 30 likes, I'll go ahead and put out the next episode. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching and support all so far uh, has been pretty good. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see what this is like. Um, let's see what we got here. A coffee. I knew you'd be part of this hunt as soon as your name came up back on Odessan. I appreciate being asked to help in the hunt. Anything I should know? Okay, oh, that was weird. We cannot <laughs> fail. Hedda wants to be Mandalore and her power grows. Her followers were once true Mandalorians, but they were weak and they fell. They're not weak. Whatever you think of them. They put up a fight when I faced them during the attack on Jakaya and the Spirit of Vengeance. Heta has given them purpose. We should be careful not to underestimate her. Agreed. I would be foolish to think her blade isn't sharp. But we waste time. You have a trail to follow and I have a relay station to find. Okay. Let's have a chat with Ross. Well, here we are again. Jakaya sends his regards. He said he likes knowing you've got Mandalore's back. I mean, I assume he meant my back too? Has he had any issues since being named Arbiter for the Mandalorian? Not really. I mean, he's very enthusiastic about telling everyone what to do. <laughs> I should have warned Mandalore about that. It's strange. I saw him lead people in battle, under fire, carrying wounded, all of it. But rarely sorting out some twisty political dispute. He's good at it. Well, of course he is. I'm just getting used to the different uniform, you know? What about you? Learn to play the grouty harmonic? Save the galaxy a few more times? Good. Only when it needs saving. Somebody has to do it. <laughs> it's probably easier than learning the grouty anyway. That sounds right. Well, I'm just glad you're here to help Mandalore out. Learn anything else while we were gone? Not much. Comms are rough, but you knew that. Maybe we can use that to our advantage. Another thing. We underestimated our enemy's forces. The number of ships we saw coming in was impressive. Hmm. Shay mentioned Heta has been building up her forces. But it doesn't change our objective. That may not be our choice. Heta's forces can cover more space with more guns. There's only so many places to hide down there. We'll find a way. I believe you. I've seen you improvise. Reminds me. I've got more gear to pack if I'm going to slice a relay station. I'll leave you to it. All right. Let's get to it. So we actually got to go scan now. Is it in like a specific area? I guess. It looks like it. I forget about the auto run button. For some reason, I'm thinking that it's R. But, uh, I, I mean, I can look it up. But I'll do that in a little bit. But yeah, so far, it's been fun revisiting this. We're playing my sniper again. Uh, it's the, currently my highest level. We are the light side for this character. So, um, I'm not sure how far this storyline will end up going. I think there's like maybe in this one and then maybe one more after it. But then after that, I think we're pretty much caught up. That's numpad is the auto run. Let's also bring this out. But yeah, it's it's been a good time. I still really want to do a new playthrough uh, where we go through pretty much all of the chapters. I started to do a, a Sith Warrior like last year, but then it's already been like eight months since I stopped playing that. So I, I think if I do a new one that I would start fresh and try to like, I know, like RP it in a way, uh, role play through it. 
because last time I, I threw like some really cool Malgus armor on my character, which was nice. But there's part of me that wants to kind of do it again, but I don't know, wear like a unique outfit starting out and then once we get to like chapter two, throw on like the Malgus outfit and go from there. Kind of just spitballing though. I've always wanted to go back and play the uh, the agent storyline again too, because I haven't played that in so long. It's actually crazy, and I, I still remember it was my first class I ever played was the agent sniper, and it, I remember it being my fires? favorite storyline out Makes of all sense. of them. Comms are a mess. We got a tower right there. Adjusting sound. Ah, uh, that's pretty Field cool. Field Marshal wants a report on the probe droids. Dust must be making them touchy. This is a waste of time. Be patient. Clan Harangir has been very generous. Our place is assured when this war is over. Clan Harangir. I figured we'd see them around here. Like I said before, they're old money. Many clans got rich from plunder during the Mandalorian Wars generations ago. They want those days back, and head is the answer. She sees the independence of that time as the purest form of honor. Problem is, mistaking greed for righteousness almost destroyed us. Let's move out. Okay. Keep it going here. We gotta head to this spot up here. I don't know if it's this one. I know one of these introduces a new flashpoint too. So I'm not sure which which uh storyline it is, but one of these quests do. It might be this one. Just don't remember. I think there was a new uh there was a new operation actually. Which crazy enough, I when it comes to operations, I've really have only ever done uh what was it? Not conquest. I forget. Man, it's been a while. P. What is the operations keybind? I'll I'll remember it when I see it. Yeah, I don't want to like sit here trying to figure it out again. It's not missions. It's the duty finder. Alright, I'll, I'll check again after this fight here. This is what happens is when you when you don't play a game for so long, you kind of forget all the keybinds and everything. And I, I literally have not played it since the like uh, 7.0 release. I played like a little bit after that to start a new character, but even then, is it you? No. I'm gonna press every button in the book. Legacy, mission log. Activity is, is it G? Here it is. Is it, is G the one? No, G is that. Well, anyways, operations. Yeah, I've, I know there's a lot more than just these four, but I've only ever done those. Um, which is kind of crazy. It it's just takes so long to actually uh, find a match and stuff. And I know doing operations, you're a lot better off like, grouping up with people and all of that rather than... Uh, oh, shoot. Wait, did I really miss it again? Oh, I got to go up this way. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not paying attention right there. But yeah, I know, I know it's a lot better off if you actually have like a clan that does ops and all of that, which I, yeah, I've, there's a few clans. Like I've been in the sanctuary and I've been in like other places, uh, dark side of the sanctuary. I have a few discord communities that I've been in, but I just never was active enough for like the ops. The armor looks like clan Varad. If you don't report in, I have to come out here. That makes your clan look incompetent. I answer to the field marshal, not you. Oh. 
Educate like, this new recruit. Nope. Or it's on you. Clear? Yes, Rakan. I will bleed him and his sister. Rakan earned his glory and blood. Don't shame me again in front of him. Grab your gear. We're on watch for the landing area. They mentioned a landing area. Let's take a closer look. Rakan, mean anything to you? No. Let's go. No. Let's go. Okay. Oh, trying to use this. Here we go. Alright, now we gotta go down that route. But yeah, maybe this time around. We'll, I mean, we'll see. We'll see where things go. Because I've always wanted to do, like, the big ops and stuff. I just haven't actually got around to doing them. Man, I'm really taking hits right now. Nice. God. Get knocked down just like that. Keeping it going here. Got a few enemies up ahead. Let's use this up a bit. It's nice getting <laughs> getting back into the feel of being a sniper again too. I was talking about it a little bit last time as I, I remember a lot of people loved playing as the uh, the operative. And the nice thing too with the operative is that you can switch between doing DPS and heals. Um, and I think a lot of the, I don't know what the status is today, but I remember a lot of like damage over time effects of being the operative. And Swotor was always like really, really presence. good. This has to be a popular spot. Um, I remember for a bit, uh, like I don't, I don't know. I don't keep up with the, like who does the most damage, what's the best meta class, like all of that. But I remember at one point it was like really good for a while. Try this. Could use my legacy abilities. I always love, I love the legacy stuff so much. <laughs> it's always cool to use. Especially, like, since you completed one of each class, you get to just go around using every single ability. One ability from each class that you've played as or storyline. I always say that, like, the legacy system in SWOTOR and the outfit system are two of my favorite systems ever for an MMO. Like, every time a new MMO comes out or, like, a, a game that's trying to be an MMO... I, I love it where once you like you either have a, a surname or like a family level across all your characters that way you continuously get stronger uh, I will say Swot or not Swotor ESO does a pretty good job at like their champion system I think they're one of the other games that that uh, has something similar where once you hit max level then you go into champion level and that stays across all of your characters uh, and if that increases on one character, it increases for the other ones too. Um, but I still love Swotors the most because you just, there's so many cool things you get, even with the companions too. See anything? Ships. Definitely the So many cool area. unlocks. Well hidden, walled off. We're not getting in that way. 
I see some Varad troops. Movement. Darmanda patrol. You see our people on your way back? Nothing but blasted heat and animals. Something going on? Your techs didn't report in either. First of all, they don't report to Varad. Second, the comms are a mess. Don't worry about it. The field marshal wants that relay station up and running now. Patrol's done. I'm off the clock. You worthless Minog lovers. Grab your drug, people. We're checking on that relay station. A Varad patrol is headed right for our people. We break oh comm silence to warn them. We risk jeopardizing this whole mission. They can handle themselves. Let's warn them. I don't care. We can deal without it. We need to help them if we can. Heart check. Okay, make the call. Keep it short. Second team, you hear me? I hear you. Comms aren't secure. This is bad news, isn't it? Large, heavily armed squad headed in your direction, approaching your flank. Got it. We'll be ready. Hope that oh. was worth it. Let's it's see okay. if we can we find can a way manage. into that landing area. Better to have them warned and prepared and deal with it after the fact than have them not be ready at all. Okay, I have spliced into the comms. That should make things easier. You seeing anything bad out there, Akavi? Nothing yet. All quiet. Is the perimeter all wired up for our surprise? Okay, just asking. Spirit of communication and all that. <laughs> Movement! Oh! Perimeter breached. Let's see what we got. Nice. They were prepared. <laughs> There's more coming. Time to even the odds. Even the odds. Yo, okay, Batman. <laughs> Alright, that was actually kind of cool. Man, every time I hear that forever now, it's just going to be... Time to even the odds. It's just going to be Batman. Alright, we got to search... Locate and search the landing site. That was a cool little uh, cinematic that they have. You can... It's definitely showing sometimes on, like the date for this game i will say like the textures that they've added over the years and the improvements that they made for character models has definitely got a lot better but i mean the game is 13 years old so this engine can probably only go so far and I, i'm curious if they'll ever like I, i'm i don't know what the state of the game is so i don't know if they they, this team has got to be small for the SWOTOR side of things, but it would be cool to see if, like, we ever I got we a, a way. huge a calm tower. update Guards. Uh, for textures, like older textures and stuff. They have been, do I will give them credit, they, they actually have been updating a lot of the planets and stuff. I watched the 7.5 stream the other day, and they, uh, they showcased some of the Cargo reference Planets 011 SOV2. And their changes. These artifacts are tagged to be reviewed today. You think it's the field marshal's new recruit? We don't ask. What about the new ship acquisition? What is that? Quality vessels, mostly carriers and long haul ships being repurposed for her fleet. More on the way. They're a shard. We need to get in there and cut communications so her fleet can't be mobilized. We've been lucky so far. What kind of helmet was that? <laughs> that helmet actually looked like it, it. I like yeah, it covers their forehead and their head a little bit, but their neck was just like wide open. You could literally see their jaw moving. <laughs> so I don't know. If you don't get if you get shot in the neck, that's not really going to be very uh, helpful either. I mean, I'm out here we're not wearing any, to be honest, so. You snipe a bit. 
I, I still don't know like what my best rotation is. At some point, I should probably look over my abilities again and like uh, make some changes. The other thing too is I don't really like follow builds these days. I used to follow builds a decent amount, but now I don't really anymore because I I said it in the last video too that like I'm really not going or I'm not trying to be the number one player. I know I will never be the number one player and that's okay with me. So I'd rather have fun and use abilities that are that feel powerful and feel like I'm taking down enemies at a decent rate rather than use, you know, the same build that every every other person is. As long as I'm efficient in some way or another and being able to take down my enemies or the, the targets, then that's all I really uh, care about in the end. Hold on, I'm going to turn down the uh, the audio just a little bit. I just feel like the, uh, the sound effects can be a little loud sometimes. I'll leave the voices up. All right, cool. Could be good. I turned the music down again because I t I really don't know, and it makes me nervous. Like what's what's overly copyright and what's not. Because some songs, sometimes I, I've done streams in the past where, or videos in the past where Sortor does so fine. Clean up this mess. And then all of a sudden, like a, a little Anakin song comes on or like an OG Star Wars song comes on. And then it just, the entire VOD is destroyed. I mean, most of the time you can just mute that section. So that's fine. But the problem is if it happens during a cutscene. Or something along those lines then you're literally screwed but if audio plays during a cutscene then you are muting the entire section there's no just mute the music you're gonna mute the dialogue you're gonna mute the background music any like cool things that happen or sound effects that cause uh like anything and everything just gets muted and I'd, I'd rather sacrifice the music and not listen to it during those moments than have the entire uh, video get muted during that section. Which is why it would be so nice and so important why it is so important these days for developers to, to put out, even if it's like, if you're going to license music for your game, license at least like one or two songs that are just copyright free. Like, doesn't have to be a lot, just enough to fill the areas where you typically would have music. Something that just fits the environment, because like, I could, I could pull up a song right now uh, and play my own music easily like, I could do that but sometimes it can be hard to match the environment that you're playing especially like Star Wars like snipe these guys I always like the AOE abilities as the uh, sniper I always thought those were pretty cool. Actually, let's start with this one. Go again. I always forget to use my legacy abilities too because they re regen so fast. 
So you, you might as well just use them every time it's available because it only takes like another two minutes for it to regen. At least like with my level and stuff. Oh man, I could have got the sensors, but that's okay. I'm not going to be able to get all of them now. Oh, I didn't see these guys. Oh, of course, we got both groups now. Come on. Oh, no. I might die. I'm taking a lot of hits right now. Come on. I'm hitting everything I got. Okay, we're catching up. We're catching up. Not even a challenge. Whew. Oh my god, that was close. We were down to like 9% at one point. <laughs> that had me a little nervous there. That was a little sketchy. Alright, we made it though. We made it through that. Well, let's try making through this. Yeah, like, yeah, looking at this, my heroic, the heroic movement abilities will just regen again in, like, two minutes, so. This is too easy. I feel like I should almost move these next to each other. Ambush. I mean, some of these finish cooldown of abilities. This ability is pretty good too, though. The suppressive fire. It does a decent amount of damage, but it does it over an, an area instead. Not even a challenge. I need to use this more too. Lays target because it increases the uh, critical hit chance. Your next ambush by a hundred percent. I could definitely swap around some of these abilities. All right, let's try doing this. Also, I'm using my uh, Razor. I have an MMO mouse that has all 12 buttons next to it. So I'm using that right now. But I have to get used to it again, too. Stay down. This is too easy. Nice. All right, that actually cleared them out pretty easily. Dispersed all the damage between them. Cover. Yeah, I'm not sure what this setup I have right now. Distraction. It might have also just loaded a lot of my abilities. So this might have not have been initially like how I had my stuff set up. That's just how it is when I came back to the game. Uh. 
snipe. Sorry, I'm like really trying to focus on like what's what's available and what's not available for my abilities. Yeah, I don't need that. Not even a challenge. Alright, nice. Okay. Of course, we got some guys here. Snipe, snipe. Go back to this. Pretty much any time the we the abilities highlight, I always try to do them because that means that it's there's some sort of bonus or you can use it without spending any energy or whatever the case is. All right, we made it. Let's see what we got. That header? I think so. A Jedi? Padawan. My master was murdered. Condolences. Now put that thing down. No. I know you. Your picture was featured in my reports from Elom. It's Sahar, Padawan Sahar. Malgus slew your master, did he not? How do you... I know who you are. Stay back. Sahar, it's Rakan. Where are you? I need you to bring that holocron back to... Shay! Where's Hedekal? Whoa, 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 whoa. Nobody makes another move. Everybody stand down. We need some information from you, that's all. Tell her to back off. Darth Null's holocron, what did Malgus want with it? Just go! Get out of here! I don't know anything that can help you! Then come with us. You will not survive on your own. Join us. Join us. Oh, she's gonna jump! Shay, what are you doing? Ah, oh, no. Ah, oh, right. Well, there she goes. There goes our chance. Gone! And she destroyed my tracker! We got nothing! Harchuk! It's only a matter of time before she sounds the alarm and brings an army back here. Come on. We need to ground the whole operation until we locate Hedda. We'll find her. You're one of the best hunters in the galaxy. We'll find her. I am the best. And yes, we will. I'm... I'll keep an eye out for more information on that holocron you're looking for. Let's move out. Yeah. Locate Hedda Cole. How do we want to... Oh, we're going to use this uh, terminal. Accessing, and we're in. This has to be the command center. See if you can find out where Hedda's hiding. I'll scan for any uninvited guests. There's nothing about a location for Hedda's base. But it looks like we control the only communication tower. Then we bring Hedda to me. Blow this place to dust. Cut off comms and send up a flare she can't miss. We have options. Wait. We're in control of their communications. Let's use that. Hedda's people could already be on their way. If you have a plan, let's hear it. Otherwise, I'm taking this place out and setting off every alarm. Alarms. 
You have an idea? Maybe. You had a hunting dog, right? A strill, yeah. Why? I bet he loved to play fetch. A false alarm. Send her fleet to chase empty space. You'd have to leave the comm center in one piece. I like messing with Hedda's toys, but I don't want to miss a chance to cripple her network. Let's send the false alarm then. The smart move is to remove complications. Hetta's fleet is a complication. Fine. Do it. Before I change my mind. <laughs> okay. Done. Now I'll cut all communication to those ships. Can't have her dogs being called back too soon. Wouldn't be able to if we blew the whole place up. Okay. Let's see if anything around here leads to Hedda. Search for clues on Hedda Cole. Alright, we're still chasing after her then. Oh, keep pressing R. I think it's because R is the... Uh, the keybind to auto run for once human. I'm pretty sure. Removed. Yeah, the storyline's been all right so far. It's definitely better at this pace uh, than I I think initially. Like, uh, actually, where do we need to go here? Okay. Like the last, um, the last video that I did. It literally was one mission and it was talking to like two or three people and then this one actually has some uh, some combat to it It's got a little bit of a storyline. It had some dialogue choices It's the biggest problem I have with Sotar is it just feels like some updates They end up being so good and then other ones are like kind of whatever I, I don't know when when is it worth to go and check out the content on day one and when isn't it that's my biggest problem with the game because if it only lasts for like an hour ish then i mean that's a really really short stream and yes there there could be new dailies to do and stuff but most of the time i, I just you know wish we got more that's all but i know it's Probably not the, uh, it, it's like that, that, salad. it's like that way for a reason. Let's hit this. Now we gotta fight our way out. Yeah, these are like the regular enemies that just spawn here. At the usual cadence, I guess. And stay down. Let's hit this. The one thing that can be a little tough with being a sniper is a lot of your abilities require you to, to be in one spot or to be in cover. I mean, luckily, I think it's gotten better over time. And it seems like you're able to move around and do some abilities more without being in cover, but it was definitely rough for a while. Got this guy. Not even a challenge. Nice. Oh, right. Let's see what we got. So we're going back upstairs, I think. Reclaimed mining facility. headed this way 
I definitely could have done the... <laughs> I, I absolutely could have done the... The internal sensors quest. Because I've passed so many of them, but it, I don't know, whatever. I should have just did it when I walked past the last group. I think we have to go. Yeah, we got to go straight here. Yeah, there's another one right there. All right, whatever. I love this combo. Clean up this mess. Doing the orbital strike and then as they're getting like absolutely destroyed by that, using the suppressive fire to stun them and keep them like stun locked the whole time. And stay down. Someone clean up this mess. Nice. Got an achievement. There was a point in the game where I was going for, I was going to go for a lot of the achievements, but I just never really finished them all. Um, I, I still haven't even gone through and gotten all of the uh, holocrons that you can get. I mean, there, there are so many and it, it requires multiple characters, but I, I don't know. I'm not that much of a completionist to want to do all of that i mean yes it does give you stats and yes they they build over up over time uh, you can get some pretty cool stuff from doing it but i just could just could never get myself to actually i might have only done like four or five plus having to keep track of all the ones that you have done um, unless if it is something that you can do while looking at your uh, achievements and stuff. And that's kind of cool, but yeah. Kind of cool, we're actually seeing other players that are doing these right now. Surprising. Oh, they're dead. I thought I heard them scream, so I thought they died. There we go. All right, you know what? Fine, I'm gonna do this now. <laughs> Since I keep passing so many of them, fine, fine. Watch now. I'm not. I'm not gonna find any more from now until the end. That's how it's gonna go. got here search for clues yeah search some items stay sharp Hedda isn't stupid we need to get moving I hear like something shifting around behind all this let's move out no not that one Over this looks here. like like something important find anything a few pieces from the spirit of vengeance the Ashad had very specific goals in mind with that attack. I didn't expect someone following the Jedi ways to be fighting for Hedda Cole. What do you think is happening there? Mm hmm. 
Elam changed her? It's got to be Malgus. She lost everything in that temple. Anyone would be changed. Almost anyone. Yeah. True. It's always better to understand what he wants than to get in his way. Hard lesson to learn. I'm not finding anything here. Let's move on. If I remember correctly, so there was like a cinematic where like her Jedi uh, master like brought them into the temple and then he ends up getting wrecked. And I think she had like a sister or something too. And then like she was questioning whether or not she was chosen or whether Nothing like so there was far. more to See if you can find anything on that console. It was like, did you, am I meant to be here, or did you just make me be here? Like, like as if it wasn't destiny. Oh. Oh boy. The heck is this? Uh oh. Oh no. The whole gang. What's going on here? What the heck? Well, well. Not who I was hoping to catch. I shouldn't be surprised. Sahar mentioned she ran into you. Your attempts to question her loyalty failed. There's nothing stronger than family. Mm. Mm, you look uncomfortable. At least I know Basque wasn't lying about the power of these sonic weapons. And hey, no hard feelings. I know there's a lot of drama between us, but that's all ancient history. But no Shay, I see. Anything to avoid her duties as Mandalore. No doubt she'll be along soon to face me. You haven't won. She'll stop you. She's welcome to try. Shay has always been a reluctant Mandalore, choosing to chase me rather than lead. The Mandalorians are scattered and uncertain. They could be an unstoppable force with the right leadership. And that's you? She's arrival was expected, but your involvement is a delicious wrinkle. You were doing so well slithering around like a jacar, and the ploy with my ships? <laughs> Clever, but I'll let you in on a secret. Warning your minions gave your little invasion away. You're different from the usual cannon fodder. I like you. So, do I use you as bait or cut your throat? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, Shay. Coming in clutch. I challenge you. Face me with honor, or show your followers what you truly are. Shay. Hedda. Why is my this character model's face the looks so good? Or right here and now. <laughs> But Anytime, everyone else doesn't. Anywhere. Runak is a dull place. Let's give my people a show. Take her. Oh. What are you doing? 
bring him. Any problems in transport, it's your head, Darmanda. Great. So we get knocked out. Oh. Here we go. You should have killed this one when we had the chance. No profit in doing that. I'm sure the field marshal has some grand plan. She always does. Nice. Wow, they <laughs> they really didn't even bother trying to take his weapons. You all right? You look terrible. Shay challenged Heta to a duel. She's been taken. A duel? Oh, of course. Okay. Listen, you remember that weird droid signal we used earlier? A new one popped up on my scanners. Led me right here. I thought you sent it, but clearly not. Shay was leaving a trail to follow. This is Hedda's base. If those two are going to fight, it's here. Okay. Good work. Understood. And thanks for help. I didn't get a chance to scout much out before running into your friends here, but it's big. Looks like an old military installation. Maybe a missile silo? Shielded like nothing I've ever seen. Glad I had the tech at the relay station. Now that was a fight. Once we got in, I worked on securing comms, but we were interrupted by that Varad patrol you warned us about. We threw them a bad surprise party. Akavia is searching for the ones that got away. I'm... Surprised you risked comms. It was the right choice. It would have been foolish to give the enemy the advantage of your death. I'll take that as a compliment. I think. Oh, one more thing. I heard a lot of chatter at the relay station about a false alarm. That mean anything to you? Etta's ships are coming back. We don't have much time. Never do. We need to get a message to Jakaya and the fleet. Maybe he can leverage a tactical advantage if it comes to it. First things first. Right. Find Shay, shoot Hedda, and bring this whole place down. A few more of these should be a good start, right? Let's go. Let's get it. Plant explosives. Alright, let's do it. Yeah, this storyline's been pretty good so far. I mean, it's it's nothing crazy, but I, I think it's... I I see where it's going. It doesn't take a lot of, like, extra information, really, for you to get into it. It's kind of just Shay is going after Hedda, uh, which, personally, if there's more backstory to her, I don't really remember off the top of my head. And now we need to go help Shay, so it's easy to follow along with. And for some reason, I was thinking Hedda was the same, uh, the lady with the lightsaber. I forget her name was, what it was, though. The Twi'lek. The Twi'lek? All right, Chad, do you guys say Twi'lek or Twi'lek? I've always said Twi'lek. But I know a lot of people say Twi'lek. So you guys let me know what your thoughts are. Because I'm curious. Damn. Wrecked them there. Alright, where do we plant these explosives, though? It just shows that it's in this general area. Oh, is it this thing? Explosive is set. Aha. Oh, let me run back. Sometimes those can be a little bit hard to see. Because it looks like it could be something that's attached to the wall. But it's actually something that we need to plant. Another one ready. Put that hey, one there. Keep an eye out for anything I can rig to send a message to Chikaya. 
I think what I'm also going to be doing, so for these videos, we're probably going to break them down into each patch update, unless if it's like really, really short. But I think the next few are actually uh, lengthy. So I think there's two more storylines after this. So we'll probably go this, uh, do this whole one until Old Wounds. And then depending on how long Old Wounds is, then we might do the next one connected to it. Um, but we'll have to see. Cause that's that's where it's really like hit or miss 7.1 update was really just one conversation and that was it this one has actually this i think this is 7.2 right now and this is has actually a storyline to it there's more going on here and it's not just like one conversation or like two conversations and then it's over Alright, there's the final one that we need to place. This one is good to go. Locate your forces. Hang on, let me check something. Okay, looks like I can get a message out to Jakaya through this, but it's gonna take some time. Down there is a service tunnel into the main area. It kills me, but I have to stay here and do this. Hedda's fleet can't be far away. Find Shay. I'm counting on you. Okay. We gotta go ourselves. Let's do it. No heals or anything? Wait, can I still bring another companion or no? No, I can't. Oh, that's rough. Alright, well. Looks like we're lone wolfing this. There's only like one group of enemies. But here I am struggling. <laughs> oh no, my health. Bro, I'm gonna die. What the hell? All right, I'm running. I'm running. Oh, wow. We actually lost them. All right, let's watch their duel. I want to show you something. A weapon. One of the greatest ever created. It's been honed, tested, and delivered to devastating effect. On every one of us. The banner of Clan Kadera. Mandalore the Vindicated made us puppets of other powers. When the Kaderas resisted, he branded them traitors. My parents stood with them. For defending Mandalorian honor, they were slaughtered. This banner has been a symbol of shame for decades. A bloody reminder of what happens when you don't obey. Those who would keep us silent are the enemy. Are we not the greatest warriors in the galaxy? Are we not worthy of forging our own destiny? Then we must fight. First, by destroying our enemy's greatest weapon, our obedience.
then by exposing their weakness. Shay Vizsla, come and face me. Gladly, pretender. This is pretty epic, actually. Get in there, Shay. Get in there. Whoa. Yo, the weapon's being used on her. Someone's cheating. Something's wrong. Shay's in trouble. No way. Ah, yeah, there you are. Got a greaser haircut, too. Let's go get him. Get to the Sonic Disruptor. Good thing I know my way around this place. <laughs> you? Well, ain't this a kick to the ships? What's going on here? I'm just making sure Hedda ends up on top. I got a lot riding on this. Oh, uh, yeah? It took four of these babies to stop you. So I figured if I use just one on Shea Vizsla, the odds get much better for me. <laughs> Hedda doesn't know about this, of course. Don't want to step on her precious honor. Shut it off. Wait, wait, wait. Hear me out. If Hedda wins, I get a huge payday. Huge. You let me finish this my way, and Darmanda walks away from Hedda's pointy horns and anything to do with the hidden chain. She loses our support. You understand me? Hey, hey. I'll even sweeten the deal. Darmanda supplies your side a fat discount on weapons, supplies, whatever, for the war. Huh. Hmm. Between you and me, she ain't looking too good. You might as well get something out of this. Walk away. Whoa. And that is Hedda's fleet arriving. Let me guess. Your fleet? We're out of time. Leave right now, and Darmanda drops out of this and backs your side instead. So, what's it gonna be? Saboteur, I walk, but use machine on Hedda, destroy the machine. No deal. This will be a fair fight, no matter the cost. Thought you were smarter than this. Only an idiot passes up a sure thing. This is about honor. He wouldn't understand. Oh. 
<laughs> there we go. Come on, Shay, you got this. Just cost me a lot of credits. Nah, we'll knock him out. I love how this though it's 50 50. Neither one of I can them live with that. <laughs> Neither one of them is good or one's evil. Yeah, this has been actually pretty epic so far. I, li I like this. Get to shave his luck. Let's go. Not gonna lie, I probably could have and should have cut it off right before the duel, because that would have been a great beginning to this next part, but that's okay. Let's see how much it actually takes for us to get, oh, uh, wait, we're not supposed to go that way. Oh, 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 we are? Never mind, we are. It's going a on a little bit longer than I expected, which is nice, though. You know? It's always good to have something, uh, something like that go on longer. Are we in an instance right now or not? 
I really don't know. What happens? Hold on, let's see what happens if I run. If I just run into this. Oh, they just dropped me. Okay. Oh wait, no, they're still fighting. Never mind. Still fighting. Almost got him. And we can go get Shay. Come on, we're right here. This last one should do it. Yep, that's it. All right, let's go. Come on, Shay, get up. Get up, let's get out. She's still knocked out. Jeez. Press Ordo. Is that you? Must be my lucky day. chance to kill you. And you keep missing, Jakar! Thanks. Things just went from bad to worse. Okay. Damn, they really actually do a pretty good job with all these cinematics here. It's kind of cool. She's here. What? Oh, they jumped to the ship. Okay. Who was that? Come on, Shay. We got to get you out of there. Oh, now she wakes up. This isn't 
traitor! Come on, Shay, let's get you out of here. They're clearing out. Do not pursue. I repeat, do not pursue. What about Heta's fleet? We used that storm to launch an ambush of our own. It wasn't pretty, but it put them on the run. Hmm. Mandalore, can you hear me? Jakaya? I'm right here. We're getting you out. Where is she? Het is gone. Hartuk. It's not over. We'll find her. You can bet on that. Okay. We got her out of there. Finally. Just tell him, Ras. What's going on? An old enemy has crawled out of the muck. Rakan. He's the one who singled me out during the fight. I swore I'd kill him the next time I saw him. You want me to help? Okay. What do you need? Thanks, that means a lot. It's hard. Seeing him again brings it all back. Two years ago, Rakan was part of a group helping the imps on Belsavis. And they were good. Experienced, skilled, all that. The Republic hired their own team to stop them. Our... Our sister Layla was in charge. There were casualties, for both sides. The imp mission failed, but Rakan escaped. Layla didn't make it. Rakan blamed us, all of Clan Ordo, for his failure. We didn't understand why a mercenary took things so personally. It's clear now. He was part of Hedda Cole's inner circle. He's responsible for losing her best people on Belsavis. He failed her, not just the mission. My condolences. I didn't know. I Layla was a Mandalorian. She died as well as any warrior could ask, with a weapon in her hand, and facing the enemy. I can see her, holding that old training blade she never got rid of, swearing a streak as they came at her. Grinning, eyes bright. Come, we should see how Mandalore fares. How's she doing? Her wounds are significant, but she is recovering. You should talk with her. Yeah. I'm fine, Jakaya. This new implant will take some getting used to, but I don't need a nursemaid. That's for the best. None would put up with you as a patient, great Mandalore. All of those battles have loosened your brain, as well as your tongue, wise arbiter. Ah. Uh. Sorry to interrupt. We got nothing. After Hedda's fleet disengaged, they jumped. Could be anywhere. Did we find anything at the base? Not much. Those techs you ran into were happy to go through Hedda's systems, so we'll keep searching. Hard proof aside, it's clear that Rakan's sister, Sahar, <laughs> is working with Hedda. And she has a Sith relic. That can't be good. Malgus wanted it, and now Hedda has it. I need to put her in the ground before this gets any worse. And now for some good news. Tales of your victory have traveled faster than the best smuggler ships. Not surprising. This is important. I absolutely agree. But Mandalore, why did you stop me from mentioning Hedda's machine? It was clearly there for her to cheat. I don't believe she was behind it. Her reputation would suffer. If the machine was used on me, I wager it was shut down in time. Wouldn't you agree? Mm, I'd made sure of it, I, I guess. I wanted a fair fight. 
A risky move, considering the wounds I had taken. My life or my honor? The choice was always clear, Shane. You think like a Mandalorian. <laughs> the duel was always mine to win or lose. No excuses. Hedda Cole and her hidden chain will need more than that to tear the Mandalorians apart. The hunt continues. Nothing will stand in my way. Shea Vizsla proved more resourceful than I anticipated. She won. With all my plans, all my preparation, she still won. This was always a test, Field Marshal. One that you passed. A secret duel on a fringe planet. This won't be a secret for long. That only helps our cause. Win or lose, you stood your ground, and Shea needed a whole fleet to rescue her. Your movement, all of this. Became real. Very real, yes. My base is gone, and she's victory salting my wounds. We must prepare for war, even as we retreat. I trust you will see us through. What do you propose? My sister has knowledge of a powerful new weapon. Rakan! What? Am I wrong? You hold the key. That was just between us. You promised to help me. I will. There is nothing more important to me. But this weapon, it's too dangerous. Then people with honor should control it. We both know the cost of being powerless. A weapon? Is this true, Sahar? Yes. Darth Malgus himself has his eye on it. Intriguing. Rikan. Make sure no one interrupts us. Damn. Just walk away like that? <laughs> okay. And there it is. We have caught up with, uh, okay, not too bad. All right, so there is a, a new area. There's a check mission board on Runic. And there's also old wounds. Uh, let me go ahead and where is our personal starship? Yeah, let's, let's fast travel to that. But yeah, that one was actually pretty good. Better than I was expecting it to be. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and chill here. Uh, next episode, we'll go ahead and start Old Wounds, catch up on that. I think this one, and then there's one more after it. So we're catching up to the 7.5 update. If you guys enjoyed this, leave a like on the YouTube video. It makes a huge difference. It really does help out a whole lot. And uh, I'll try to put out the next one in the next few days. As always, thank you for watching. Join the Discord if you want announcements every time I go live or post a new video. And for now, that's it. See you on the next one. Peace.